Hello everyone, welcome to Baju's exam prep and welcome to this new series which is Tricopedia. And here we are going to learn the how quickly you can calculate the PDF of sum of two independent random variables. So the concept behind that is the center limit theorem. If according to the center limit theorem, if you have the two independent random variables and if you add them together, then the resultant random variable will have the probability density function which is equal to the convolution of individual density function. So if you want to calculate the PDF of Z, then you just need to calculate the convolution of PDF of X and PDF of Y. So to understand this particular theorem, let's have one example. So this is the two random variable X and Y which is added together to get the new random variable which is Z. So now this PDF you can see that it is a, a uniformly distributed and having the rectangular shape and the trick is whenever you have the two particular rectangular pulse having the equal width the convolution is nothing but a triangular and what is that triangular signal so this triangular signal will be having this shape okay this will be having this shape and what is the minimum value and the maximum value of the triangle minimum value is the addition of the minimum value of individual pulse so that is the minus 4 and maximum value is the maximum value of the individual pulse that is plus 2 and plus 2 which is 4 and the intermediate value is 0 here how do you calculate the height height is nothing but the multiplication of the two height multiplication of the height of the rectangular pulses so this is 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 multiplied with the minimum width so what is the minimum width because those, these two pulses are having the equal width the minimum width will be 4 only so the height will be 1 by 4 this is nothing but the pdf of z now you want to calculate the probability for z greater than 0 that means you want to calculate this area because the area under the pdf is nothing but the probability so the area under this is 1 by 2 base is 4 height is 1 by 4 so the result is 1 by 2 obviously because it is symmetrical about the y axis the total area is 1 so half of the area will be 1 by 2 now let's look at to the another example now we are having the two pulses which are having the unequal width so the concept is same when even if you have the unequal width like it is having from minus 1 to 1 and the another pulse is having from minus 2 to 1 so still you have to use the same concept that is you have to uh, just convolve these two signals so this is fx of x and this is fy of y you have to convolve these two pdf and because the height is 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 now the shape because the width is unequal the shape would be the shape would be your trapezoidal so that is the trick behind that that you should know that whenever the two unequal widths are convolved then the shape will be the trapezoidal how do you calculate the minimum and the maximum value the minimum value is same that is the addition of the minimum value which is minus 1 and minus 2 that is minus 3 and the maximum value is also addition of the maximum value which is 1 plus 1 that is 2 and how do you calculate the intermediate value take the minimum value of first and maximum value of second and also the vice versa so if you will take the minimum value of second and maximum value of first and vice versa you will get minus 1 and 0 how do you calculate the height the height is nothing but the multiplication of the two heights that is 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 and the minimum width. So this time the minimum width is 2 so height you will get is 1 by 3. So this is now the PDF of Z. Now you want to calculate the probability that Z less than equal to minus 1. So now this region you want to calculate because the area under the PDF is the probability. So you will calculate the area under this which is 1 by 2 base into height. So the result is 1 by 3. So in this way, you will calculate the probability in the particular region by the concept of central limit theorem and the, by the trick of the how to convolve the two symmetrical and unsymmetrical rectangular pulse. Thank you for watching this particular video. Let's meet with the another trick in the next session. Thank you.